Hey everyone, it is Chris with Spy Living, and today I want to talk to you about the dreaded New Year's resolution. Now, it's coming up on the end of the year, and this is the time of year that everyone starts making resolutions, and people have some very strong thoughts about them. Um, some people think they are stupid, and why do you make them? Other people say if something's worth making a resolution, why wait till a you know the beginning of the year to actually do it i'm of the opinion that having a specified start date is a great way to add into your success on any resolution or habit you want to create now i am of the opinion that new year's resolutions should be one of two types either a health resolution or a wealth resolution now, last year I chose a health resolution and was quite successful. Dropped 35 pounds um, and was not required to go on to any type of medication for cholesterol or blood pressure. Feel fantastic. And if you can go for a good health resolution, highly recommended. But because I did a health resolution, resolution last year, I decided I'm going to do a wealth resolution this year and because the health resolution was so successful i will go ahead and reaffirm that into maintaining my healthy lifestyle which has slipped a little bit in this last year for reasons i can't really talk about in this video but i will in another one now if you want to be successful in your health and wealth resolutions i have two recommendations for you number one Keep them very, very specific. Do not create vague resolutions. So don't say, I want to lose weight, right? Um, have a specific weight that you want to lose to get there. And don't think you have to have a big, grand resolution for it to work. Sometimes starting out really small and simple can allow you to stack successes over time. So for example, maybe a really, instead of going really big and saying, I want to lose 35 or 30 pounds, maybe it can be as simple as I'm going to commit to walking 10,000 steps a day for the next 30 days. It's not an easy, but it's not unattainable. Walking 10,000 steps a day, you'd be surprised how quickly you can do it. And after those 10,000 steps, you'd be surprised because once you start going, everything kind of follows along with it. Same thing with a wealth goal. Be very, very specific. And it doesn't have to be huge. Maybe for some of you just coming off of big Christmas spending, maybe your resolution is to pay off one credit card this year, right? For some of you, that might be big. For others, it might be quite easy. You know, one of the simplest way to do that is take your current balance divided by 12 and you'll get an approximate amount you need to pay off every single month to bring it down to zero. And if you have a one very specific goal that you're going to fight for, you put all your extra money towards, once you get that done, it snowballs into paying off other credit cards, putting money away for a, uh, a rainy day fund, putting money into your IRA or your 401k, but just getting that ball rolling with one simple win can be quite, quite effective. So what I'm going to be doing over the next couple of days is trying to figure out what my resolution is going to be. I may do something simple as having $1,200 in a taxable index fund by the end of the year, which means just $100 a month into an index fund. And the great thing is, is once you start doing these simple things, it adds up over time. You know, if you can have extra money you put in and you make that goal in six months, you can then move on to the next financial and wealth goal. So you have a day or two to figure out what your resolutions will be. And again, uh, start out simple, but be very, very specific. So whether you choose a health goal or a wealth goal, I wish you much success in 2020, 2019 was a great year for me. But what I would love for you to do is once you figure it out, come back here, go down in the comment section and put down your very specific resolution for the new year. And I hope you had a great holiday with your friends and family. I'll see you in 2020 and I'm looking forward to a great new year.
Bye for now.